Apple just released iOS and iPadOS 13.2. Let's talk about it. What's up everyone, it's Jason here with Red Bee Labs and welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, we provide in-depth reviews and unboxings for all tech. Okay guys, I wanna jump right in and give you Apple's full release notes. Camera. You get the Deep Fusion for iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max. And this uses the A13 Bionic Neural Engine to capture multiple images at various exposures, run a pixel by pixel analysis, and fuse the highest quality parts of the images together, resulting in photos with dynamically better texture, detail, and reduced noise, especially for mids to lows light scenes. Ability to change the video resolution directly from the camera app for iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max. Emoji. Over 70 new or updated emojis, including animal, food, activities, new accessibility emojis, gender neutral emojis, and skin tone selections for a couple emojis. AirPod support. Announce messages with Siri to read your incoming messages aloud to your AirPods AirPods Pro support. Um, the Home app. You get HomeKit Secure Video enables you to privately capture, store, and view encrypted video from your security cameras and feature people, animals, and vehicle detection. HomeKit enabled routers put you in control of what your HomeKit accessory communicate with over the internet or in your home. Siri. Privacy settings to control whether or not to help improve Siri and dictation by allowing Apple to store audio of your Siri and dictation interactions. This update also includes bug fixes and other improvements. And these updates are, it fixes an issue that may prevent passwords from autofilling in third-party apps, resolves an issue that may prevent the keyboard from appearing when using search, addresses an issue where swipe to go home might not work on the iPhone 10 and later, Fixes an issue where messages would only send a single notification when the option to repeat alert was enabled. Addresses an issue where messages may display a phone number instead of a contact name. Resolves an issue that caused contacts to launch to the previously open contact instead of the contact list. It fixes an issue that may prevent markup annotations from being saved. It resolves an issue where saved notes could temporarily disappear. Fixes an issue where iCloud backups might not successfully complete after tapping backup now in settings. And it improves performance when using assistive touch to activate app switcher. I'm gonna have a link in the description which has the complete and full notes from Apple, but these are the top ones, the ones you guys actually care about. Okay guys, there you have it. Go out and download iOS and iPad OS 13.2 and leave me something in the comments to let me know how your whole update process went and what features you like. Before you go, if you could smash that like button, share this video and leave me a comment or two, I'd really appreciate it, it helps me and the channel. If you could also please click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos that I release, that would be much appreciated. And as always, this is Jason and I'll catch you in the next one.